one of the the sayings that like gives me peace in that is while salvation happens in a moment, sanctification happens over a lifetime. So we just continue to get fine tuned. And, you know, sometimes there is a little backslide or sometimes, yeah, we regress and then we remember like, oh yeah, that was terrible before. It's still terrible now. And what God has is better. And I mm-hmm. even had a friend call me and tell me last night, you know, that she, she's been like feeling lonely and she ended up in a club again. And she's like, and I just hated it. She's like, I, the whole time I was like, why am I even here? <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, I was like telling her, I was reflecting on the same thing. I'm like, I went through that, like right after I was saved, where I like, I ended up doing those things again. And it was still as empty as it was when I left it. And I just had to remember that for myself. And, and then I met my husband who's like stone cold, like he's never touched anything a day in his life. So he's like, uh, uh. So he's like the backslide police now. Like he, (laughs) that's awesome. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. There's no backsliding happening in this house. It like, and I have those cravings too with like wine sometimes and his family drinks. And sometimes I, I end up in that debate with myself of like on celebrations or, you know, camaraderie with the family. But I, I guess I don't have a hundred percent closure because every time I do drink, cause I'll have wine sometimes and it still just feels like, I don't know, like I would have been better without it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Even that last beer that I, I did have, it was, and this is something my husband was working on with me whenever we first started dating. Cause I would say things like, Oh, I really need this drink or I had a really hard day. So I I deserve this drink or something like that. And in that moment, I was irritated with my family for some reason on Christmas Eve. And so that was my thought process of like, I need a beer. You know what I mean? Cause my family's irritating me right now. (laughs) And that was another pause of like, I don't need this alcohol to get through this situation like and it was such great timing then because um the pandemic happened a few months after and I if before if I had still been drinking then I would have just drank the entire time that we were in quarantine and it was just saying I mean it's it's God's timing I I I just I could not believe it I was like thank you Lord that I am freed of this and I'm not sitting here wallowing in our apartment. (laughs) Yeah, that's so good. It makes me think too, like I have that same discussion with myself, like when I have that, that craving, like you feel when you have that urge. And then it's like, sitting on that, like, don't act on it. But like, why am I feeling this? Mm -hmm. What is it that I'm really seeking that I want to fill this with alcohol with? So like you said, like, oh, I'm like stressed out for my family. You know, it's not like you really need a drink, but it's, it's seeking to fill that space. And so I notice a lot of times it's like, I really just need my husband to like take a long walk with me and like talk to me or like hear me cry or something like this that I'm like trying to numb with alcohol instead, you know? So if you just Mm -hmm. like push past that. 